In this video, I'll be discussing three different builds using three different light bow guns. None of them are elemental. They focus on dealing raw damage. The talismans are not that mandatory. The build would still work without them. Maybe a bit weaker. Fast disclaimer, these are not fully maxed end game builds. Game just started and I'm still on the hunt for god tier talismans. First, let's get started with the Nargakuga light bow gun. This is the Night Owl. I chose to combine Pierce Up 3 and Critical Boost 3 and squeezed in attack boost 4. This build would allow you to fire rapid fire pierce 2 at the lowest recoil and reload at the fastest speed. It doesn't have moving reload enabled so keep that in mind. You can shoot paralysis 1 pretty fast while paralysis 2 with a high recoil. You can get stun using exhaust ammo which is nice and you can fire slicing too. So decorations I have used are two precise jewels because aim booster seems like it doesn't work quite as it's intended. I made a video about aim booster being a trap, watch that video to know what I mean. Three absorber jewels, two quick load jewels, two precise jewels. I added in three free meal jewels as well because I'm poor and I wanted my buffs and healing items have a chance to be free without using an exploit. Another variation to this mix is if you are one of the lucky ones to have a rapid fire up talisman. This build does not have any critical boost. It has higher attack and rapid fire up at level 2. If your talisman is godly and has level 2 on talisman, this can easily be rapid fire up level 3. This has more damage than the previous set and you don't have to crit. Higher damage uptime. Second gun is the Bessario's Light Bow Gun. Attack boost is level 6, artillery, and has Slugger 2. You can meld Slugger talismans in the Melder and not rely on RNG, so that can be easily attained. Set has Spare Shot. This gun is comfy. You can fire and reload normal 3s while moving. You can fire and reload Sticky 2 as well when moving. Another thing would be Status Ammos. You can Poison, Para, and Sleep. These things would really be helpful in proccing ailments on Rampage to get bonus rewards. You can fire slicing too, but the reload makes you stationary for a bit. Decos, one quick load, three absorber, three artillery. If ever you can't find a slugger talisman with a level 2 slot, just replace Rathalos braces with Renoplos to get artillery and free up some slots. And now, the return of the Cheese King, the mighty Aqua Shot, the Magnamalo Light Bow Gun. I'm running it with Spare Shot, Slugger 3, Artillery 3, and of course Ammo Up 3. Without Ammo Up 3, you will not have that 2 sticky 3s per clip, so that's really mandatory to make it work. This gun is a beast. You can switch around Sticky 3, Spread 3, Slicing, and even Normal 3, or Pierce if you feel like it. It's all around. Try not to care too much about not having Pierce Up Normal Spread skills. We are really limited right now with the armors. I usually just go with Sticky 3 get the KO, spread 3 on the monster's face or arm or tail, sticky 3, get the KO, spread 3 again, rinse and repeat. Huge clip sizes with excellent recoil and reload with spare shot. Enjoy. Decos, 4 attack decos, 2 absorber decos, 2 quick load, 2 ammo up, 1 KO, 1 flinch free because why not? Now if you don't have a slugger talisman with 2 level 2 slots, it's fine. You'll just lose 2 levels of attack. Build would still work. You'll get the KOs. Just pray to RNG to get more spare shot to cover for less attack. Again boys, these are not fully maximized yet. I'm still restricted by the amount of talismans I have. We'll just post it if I have a major upgrade in the future. Give the sets a try and comment down below what you think. See you all in the next video. Yeah.